Alrighty, spicy chicken nuggets. It is the next day. Um, well, uh, I'm gonna finish up this gen now. And uh, he was so kind to build us a platform. It looks really nice, by the way. Um, and a staircase up, which is very nice. But I do, I do have to break this. I'm, I am sorry, because uh, I have to fill this in with water. Now, there's two ways that you could do this. You could go to slash shop miscellaneous you could buy a ton of water or you can do this cheap way and pop one of these bad boys just all the way it does take a long time uh, and I will tell him how to turn on the uh, gens. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys once I'm done with this process. You just want to fill in each one with a stair. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, as you can tell, I have this all filled in. But, what he doesn't have on is he doesn't have the um, gens activated. I will show you guys how to activate these gens too. Now... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the blocks pushing up. You're going to have these pushing up and over. Okay. And to achieve this, what we're going to want to do is have pistons. So once these get pushed up, they'll be right about here. So we need something pushing it over, which will be a piston. Just like that. Now... What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to place a piston over the lava like that, and just repeat this process for as long as you need. Now, depending on how high you need it, I need it six high. So, two. Uh, you you just want to place it every two blocks high, like that. So that's three, four, five, six. He wants it this high three times as tall as you okay you're gonna be standing here mining it out um so you just got so you're just gonna fill this whole entire area in like this as a so uh i'll get right back to you guys once i have this filled in all right guys i just wanted to show you this um after every second layer your head room you're gonna want to do this then just crouch and place in once you're done with that just do that and repeat the process of doing this. So, just one easy way how to do it. I'm just showing you guys. And I will catch you when I'm done. So, after you're done with all those pistons, you're going to want to make your way down to the back. Now, as you can see, this is where the nether gen will be. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just bridge two like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom boom, boom 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 and you're just gonna complete it now you're gonna want to take some repeaters which you can get those in slash shop um on the second page uh i only need that amount for here now you're gonna want to power these each individually with repeaters like this and you're gonna want to set them to one tick and then you're also gonna need some redstone from here which you can just buy blocks all by 16 throw them in there and bada bing bada boom bop bop now the uh, normal gen pistons are right here behind these now the way to power those is if you just have a regular redstone input into that block it soft powers that block which that means that um, only a repeater can take a signal out of that block so you're gonna wanna hard power that block using a repeater so then soft power comes out which is very it's gonna be very important that you do this you're just gonna wanna line up to the back of this lava part and like a so finish the platform so I'll catch you guys when I'm done here alrighty guys I am back 
and um, now that we have everything in, it should look like this if you're doing the same style gen that I have. Um, well, what I'm going to do is before I forget, I forget this step every single time, is I go up here and, oh my god, I fell. And I, I need to get some obby. Now, you could also use furnaces if you wanted to. But I'm going to use obby. You're going to want enough to cover how long your gen is. So I need 48 and just cover the top so that it doesn't over generate and go at the top and look ugly. You're just going to want to do uh, this um, all the way till you're done. Once you get towards the end, just hold down crouch and finish up. Now that you have the bottom in and your obby in, you're going to want to see this. It should be five tall since you have this here, these holders. But what you're going to want to do is split that up like a so. What you're going to want is you're going to want block there, there, and here. So you're going to want to complete in this bottom layer all the way till you're done. And then go out. Hold on. You're going to want to go out one and do basically what you just did. And you're just going to complete the first layer at first. And then I'll, I'll catch you guys once I'm done with that first layer. Now, once you're done with this first layer, what you're going to want to do is grab some repeaters, which you can obviously just do slash shop, second page. And I'll just buy a few stacks. Now filter them each into each of these. What this is going to do is going to power this piston and the piston that is on the cobble itself. Um, or in front of the cobble itself. So you're just going to fill this in all the way. And redstone behind it again. Now you're going to want to do this for every row like we already established. You're going to want to do something like this for every row so I'll catch you guys once I'm done with that whole thing alright guys I have finished this up and as you can tell it might look really complicated it's really simple actually well what you're gonna want to start with from here is you're gonna want to find the center now mine is obviously an even number so this is lopsided off to the right slightly but you're just gonna want to have a, a repeater that going in Okay, you're gonna want to have a staircase going up to the first layer of repeaters pushing out. So that's this level. Now you're gonna want to make your clock, and I, I I just like having some space going out, having some room to play. So I'm just gonna go out like this, and you can go with the old clocks, which are 32 delay tick minimum, I think, which is four like this, and then just two on the end, like like so. And just ba -da ba ba ba, and like that. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the uh, more sophisticated slash the way that will not break all the time 24/7, the hopper clock way. Now it might seem really complicated. All you need is two hoppers, which I'll go get those. And you can't buy hoppers from the shop, so I'll just show you how to make one. It is um actually really simple. Chest in the middle, iron, 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 iron. Boom, bada ba boop, pow, hopper. And I already have them saved, so I'll just get another hopper. Pretty simple. After you get your two hoppers, you're just going to come to slash shop. Um, you're going to want to go to the second page, grab two comparators, and redstone block. And you're going to need two sticky pistons, which I already have those. Now, the way to make one of these is pretty dang simple. You're just going to have a hopper, and this one's going to be facing down. Now crouch, hold that. This one's going to want to be flowing into that one. Now you're going to want to break this one and have it flowing into there. What you're going to want to do from here is have a comparator. Now this is... Excuse me. Excuse me. Where did my comparators go? 
Stat block lag. Woo! Uh, I, I, I'll just grab two more. Bruh. Um, this is positive for comparators. And you're going to want to right-click them into negative. Now you're going to want to have a block um, for the comparators run in. Redstone right next to that block. Piston, piston. Now your redstone block. And you're just going to throw a random block in there. So I'll throw coal in there. Now you're going to see it's going to do this. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take one redstone output, stick a piston, go to slash shop, and we're going to redstone, find an observer, boom, what this is is a pull shortener. See how long it takes for this to do that? This just short shortens that pulse. Here, I'll show you. Instead of having that long pulse, it shortens it into that. Now you're going to want to have three ticks, so the torch should be like that. Now you're just going to... Boom. It generates. Perfect. It works. Awesome. Now you just want to hook... You're just going to... Boom. See? See how far it flows? Then... You can just take a thing like this. Have an output. Go up like this. And boom. And boom. Now, this might create a circle like this since this is flown into that. This poses an issue. Boom, we fixed our issue. Now you're just going to check that it flows all the way to the back. Perfect! Awesome, it fixed it. Now you're just going to repeat the same exact process on the other side. Break this. Now you're going to see it, we went two in, and then we went out. And I'm just trying to make this look nice. And then we went over a few. Uh, I'm just going to... Boop. Boop. There you are. I'm just going to check. Uh, it flowed up into here. Two in. Boom. Repeater. Boom. And redstone repeater. Boom. It just got lulled on. I just want to come around to the front. See if everything's working. And boom. It is in fact working. Now, since um, those are all gravity blocks and we don't have the other blocks working yet, it will in fact work. I know I'm building this for him. So I get to take it. Um, uh, so I just yoinked that ancient debris. Now, we'll fix the sand issue here. It's, it's not that difficult to fix. Uh, we did not see anything there. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is we can break the one going to the bottom just to solve any lag issues so far. Now, just gonna wanna make it go up into the side. Boom. Boom. Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? You wanna check it goes all the way to the side? It does not. To fix this issue, you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing you just did literal exact same thing. Take the output.
fix this issue. It's also very simple. Very, very, very simple. It's simplicity. The simplicity here is just sick on how to fix these things. Just gonna check it makes all the way to the side. Yup, you're gonna wanna repeat the exact same process on the other side. Goes out, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Bop. Same issue, right? Same exact issue. Simplicity 100. <laughs> it's so incredibly simple what you can do with a repeater and two dots. Now, you're just going to repeat this process for all the way up. But, you're obviously going to have to make a staircase. I overshot it, I'm an idiot. Boom, boom. Boom. Simplicity, guys. Simplicity is key. So I'll catch you guys once I have done this layer. Well, now I have this layer done. Um. What I'm going to want to do is, instead of cutting off the line to that, I'm going to pull a big brain move and just move that one up. Simplicity. Boom. Just going to hook up that. That tick. Boom. Repeat the same exact process that you've been repeating. All the way out and over. You're going to want to try to get all this timing right. By delaying these as much as you can. You just want to find that one tick. Set all of these to that tick. And you're just going to do that till you till you can't. No um, and you're going to do that for all layers. So I'm going to complete this and then. I'm gonna hook it all up together, put it all together, show you guys how it works. Alright guys, I think I have all the timing right on those up there, so now I'm gonna try hooking it up. Going to the front. And bada bing bada boom, it should be producing like that. But you're not done yet. It should be up off the ground, right? All these annoying gravity blocks, right? Mmm, so annoying. Well, I'm going to shut off the machine, show you guys how to fix that. What I do is I come around back, fix this. Come on, you can just do, you can just do that. There you go. Boom. You know, that's the one redstone that you don't want breaking. Now, to get all those pesky gravity, pesky bra gravity blocks under, out from under there, as you can see, they're very pesky and annoying. Get rid of them. Absolutely just get rid of them. You don't need them. Get them out of there. What I do is it's, this is a pretty smart thing. Is you could have stupid gravity blocks in there with this. Just hold them. Or I think they break under a slab like this when it's that far away. Let me go test that real quick. So we have this, 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 and um, we throw a gravity block down. Yikes. Um, hold on. Come on now. Come on now. 
I know I'm doing this test in front of you guys, but I don't care. Bruh. Yikes. Um, so, this is why I like a gravity filter. I'm going to have the blocks down here, as it appears. So if I place this one higher, Will it break? I don't know, let's find out. Boop. Yup, it breaks right over there. Now, this might not look the best for you, but uh, it works. It filters them out. Now, what I think looks the best in this case is spruce slabs or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something special for this man's. Um, uh, so, this nether section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna go here, grab this, grab this, place this down, place this down, and boom. Uh, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with this section. Alright, so I have this man's nether section done. Now you might think this looks cool, which admittedly it does, because your boy made it, obviously. Um, <laughs> but uh, seriously, I am going to now do this. Now, what I find best looks for that is if you go to slash shop, and then you gotta scroll all the way to page two out of that. Bruce slabs simple looks good you're just gonna fill it in all the way with spruce slabs which they're cheap they're efficient they look good and I'll show you guys how to top it all off as well at the end they break the blocks as well you can want to make sure it's on the lower portion of the slabs just like so bada -ba boom um, yeah catch you guys once I'm done now after you have the floor done you might think ooh this looks good but how do I get up and you might be thinking oh I'm gonna use stairs don't use stairs trust me trust me don't use stairs what you're gonna want to do is do this two out two down this looks so much better than stairs stairs just look so terrible next to this and you might need to move some things. Like, I'm going to move his beacon back for him. I'm not going to take any blocks either. You'll see it'll be fully powered. Um, but, yes, that that is what you got to do to make it look good. Now, um, actually, instead of doing just a run-up like this, what I also recommend is going out like three blocks like this from where it stops generating, I think. That's where it stops generating, at least and then doing that but I'll catch you guys in a sec once it's fully generated and I'll test it out alright all right, guys my um pay slave I mean paid employee has finally decided to show up <laughs> <laughs> and be sick uh, which is amazing yeah I've been sick for this whole week man and like I said you're just gonna go three out so this is about two out three out so now you can start I definitely know what he's talking about two and out yeah and just, uh, I'll complete the section, show you guys what it looks like, show you guys if it looks good. Um, yeah, I'll just let you guys be the judge. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, this looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's, it does look pretty good. And it's a smooth walk up, and all the gravity blocks break, which is nice. Yep. Um, and I'll figure out what's wrong with the gen in a second. I, I don't know why these aren't getting pushed up. Oh. It's gravity blocks, which they're once again very annoying. That's the reason why gravity blocks. Yeah, at the start it might be difficult to generate all the blocks, because obviously gravity, we all hate it. Um, I hate sand and gravel they're about my least favorite blocks so that's why I just saw it which is amazing um 
I need to move his peeking back, which is going to be very annoying. Very tedious. Uh, I'll just break all these bad boys. No, man. The beacon's fine. The beacon is fine. Yeah, man. The beacon's fine. And that's why this full nether gen has been generated. Just sick and... Hey, look at my head. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Wait, Tyler. All right, guys. You... I have uh, moved the beacon. Uh, well, uh, he's helped. He moved the beacon technically, but I moved most of the blocks. And um, he's just placing them in. Now you just want to continue this pattern all the way. So you go to your blocks, and I'm just gonna do this. Boom. Boom. Now you're just gonna boop. Bop, uh. Easy as that, all the way down, just like that, just like that, all the way down. <laughs> Kill's trying to talk, but I'm not letting him. Uh, all the way down, guys. Very important. All the way down. Yeah, I'm definitely not stalling so Caleb can't talk. Definitely not. Definitely not stalling. Definitely not. Definitely not. You can also just put the pattern on the ground. Boop up, boop up. Fill it in. There you go. You can pull one of these. And if you mess up, it triggers your OCD. Well, mine at least. So don't. So don't. There we go. I am cured. This looks very good. Now you're just going to do it over there, which is... Simple again, spruce slabs all the way out. Come on now. You guys know the deal. I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright, guys. Um, uh, now, I didn't realize that we are going to be going so high. Look at my new obby pick. Oh my god, some dude was selling it on auction house for only 100k. What a scam. Man got scammed. I just scammed a blind man. Um, I didn't realize we are going to be going so low. So, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with obby again. 3216 since this is 48 long. Quick maths. And we're just gonna fill it in. Boop, bop, 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 boom. Two layers of obby protecting it. Now if it might it might not be generating like this. The issue with this is Gravity! Eh, just do this. Mine it out. Boom. It'll get done. That's how you fix this issue of it not generating. You're just going to fix it all the way around. So, over here is one. You're always going to want to mine out the bottom block. It's very simple to fix. Uh, we all hate gravity. Get gravity blocks removed, dude, besides Dragon Egg. But get gravity blocks removed. Come on, guys. I hate those things. I've hated them all my life. I'm just gonna fix this. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Um, that's how you do this. That's how you fix the gravity blocks as well. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that concludes this video on how to make a large gem like this from top to bottom. Now, to make it six high, you might need VIP uh, or higher. Um, I know you can do it four high without VIP, but I made it six high and I have VIP plus, um, which is awesome. And yeah, um, I just wanted to show you guys how to make one of these. I charged absolutely nothing to make this. Um, he just gave me the blue ice and it, it was nice. Um, so. Yeah, 
he likes it. Um, I'll just explain to him how to get rid of the gravity blocks, and then, yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, uh, please like and subscribe. It would make my day. Um, bye.